Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about finance and marriage. Is having a joint account a must? Guys, this video is actually triggered by uh, some comments that I received in one of my posts on my community. This uh, is a post from Timba Tom Tully. The guy actually wrote, I am married to a woman that says to me, baby, you have paid for the tickets. Please let me pay for our food. Baby, you have paid for our food. Mina, let me tip our waiter, waitress. Love, you paid for the flight. Mina, let me pay for the rental car. He wrote, I am married to a destiny helper, a woman that loves and compliments me. My wife makes my weight lighter. Guys, I received some comments on this post. Uh, actually, some people were saying they should have a joint account. And let me tell you guys, I believe that um, a couple should do what works for them. If having a joint account it work, it is what works for you, why not? Fine and dandy, go ahead. If having separate accounts works for you, why not? Go ahead and do that. Guys, I'd like to actually tell you some of the pros and cons of having a joint account. One of the pros is, you know, it eases, it makes paying of bills easier. Like when you're sharing rent and utility bills, it is a lot easier to write one check and have it come out of a shared account. And another uh, one of the prawns is it gives a couple a sense of togetherness. Like it improves uh, your unity. It brings you together. It makes you feel like one. Uh, that is a good thing. But let me tell you, there are cons to having a joint account too. One is there is lack of control. You cannot control the other partner. You may have a spendthrift as a partner. You cannot control their spending. You know, that is a major con. So as you have pros, you also have cons. And another part is if one spouse is controlling that is, controls how, how the other one spends money or doesn't even allow the other spouse to withdraw money from that account. Just like the case of Osina Chinwachiko. You know, somebody that is so controlling that will rather give you money instead of you withdrawing from that account. That is when it becomes a problem. So we have to be very careful when we talk about joint account. It has to be what works for the couple. Having separate accounts, there's nothing wrong with that. If it works for you, why not? I'll tell you there are some husbands that handles all the expenses in the home. They don't even want their wife to contribute towards anything. They are capable of handling the expenses. Whatever money the wife gets goes to them, to their wives. So that one is another way. So whatever works for you as a couple, please go ahead and do that. Some people will use because, oh yeah, having a joint account will bring us together. It will make us as one. And you see one partner cheating the other one. You know, you have to be wise to know when it becomes financial abuse. So what am I trying to say? Do what works for you as a couple. Thank you for watching to this point. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.